Zendrop Shopify dropshipping tutorial. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with dropshipping using Zendrop. Now, we all know Shopify as one of the best e-commerce builders out there. So including products from a platform like Zendrop can help you in sourcing amazing products and displaying them on your own site, which can help you in boosting your dropshipping business. Now, what exactly is Zendrop and why should you use it? Well, if you go on ahead and just take a look at Zendrop, Zendrop is one of the largest dropshipping applications out there. It is committed to providing you with fast shipping for products, as well as provide you with real-time analytics for products. You can also include customized brandings, as well as subscription boxes on your site using Zendrop products. So let's get started. Now, the primary way that you want to include product is by integrating both Shopify and Zendrop together. You need to have your own Shopify store as well as a Zendrop account to do this. So just head on over onto Shopify and click on apps on the left. Click on apps and sales channel settings and then click on Shopify app store. Once you open up the Shopify app store, you're just going to search for Zendrop over here. Zendrop has its own application that is available on the Shopify app store that allows you a secure and easy connection to Zendrop to import Zendrop products. So simply select this application and you will see the developer should say Zendrop. You're going to click on install over here. And once you click on install, this will open up a new tab where you're going to click on install once more to complete the installation of the Zendrop application. Now, once you do that, all you have to do is sign up. Now to sign up, simply enter a valid email address like so. And after that, you're just going to create a password for your Zendrop account that is going to be linked to your Shopify store. Then click on sign up and your Zendrop account will be created. It's really that simple and easy. Now, once you have installed the Zendrop application onto your Shopify store, and now you have your own Zendrop account, you will see it will display your store name on the left. If I change my store name, I can go into settings, go into change and I will change my store name to Spencer like so and I'll click on save and it might take a couple of seconds but Zendrop is going to you know sync up to my store and you guys will see it now is displaying my store name as Spencer. Now that you have your Zendrop account, you will see a dashboard on the left. This allows you to see all of your fulfilled orders, the number of orders you have received, the sales and the costs of those as well. And then below that, you have the profit calculator. Then you have a find product section, which allows you to find products. You have a my product section, which allows you to see any of the products that you have imported from Zendrop onto your own store. Below that, you have extras. Now, all of these extras are amazing, but these are limited to the premium version of Zendrop, which starts at $79 per month, where you have features like AI, print on demand, 24 seven customer supports, weekly live coaching calls, and more. So usually if you're just starting out, you don't need these extras. As long as you're able to find good products, you're going to easily be able to make sales on your Shopify store. So go on to find product over here. And after that, you have a few filters you can apply. Now, there is this filter called ships from the US. And this is meant specifically for people that are trying to launch their store in the United States. If you are trying to get customers from the US and you want to provide them with delivery times of two days, three days, then you're going to try to find products that are shipping from the US. Keep in mind that products that are shipping from the US might have higher costs, but they are going to provide you with lower shipping fees and lower shipping times. If you select the option ships from anywhere, you will see products from all around the globe that can be shipped anywhere. 
You can also search in specific categories as well as search for specific suppliers. And if you're looking to start your store within a specific price or budget, you can select that price range as well. Now I'm going to search for, let's say I'm going to search for a dress and you will see there are a bunch of different dresses and you will actually see the same dress is listed for different prices. This particular item is available for $9 as well as $4. So I think this is going to be the best price available. We have different product costs and you will see on the right, you also have different shipping rates as well as totals as well as individual prices for the product. Now, I'm going to find a dress that I like and I want to include onto my store. You will also see the option where you can actually request product fulfillment, which means if you're looking to find a specific product, you can actually search for it. I'm going to search for maxi dresses like so. And this looks pretty decent. I think I want to include this on my store. And you will see there are different variants of sizes and colors in this. And I also have $7 shipping fees to the United States. But let's say if I want to ship this to Canada, it's costing $12. If I want to ship this to Australia, it's costing $8. So you want to select the country that you are shipping products to. Let's say that my target country is Canada. I want to ship the products or, you know, foster my audience from Canada. So I want to be shipping over there. The overall cost is around $20, which I think is a bit too high. I want to go for something that costs lower. So I'm going to search within a narrower price range of around $1 to $10. I don't want to see any products over, let's say, $6. This one, I'll have to move this price range to $6 and I'll just click on apply. And you guys can see there are still options available even under $6. I think this looks pretty nice and the shipping is $11, which brings our total to around $18. Now I can do two things. I can directly add this to my Shopify store from Zendrop, or you can even place a sample order. This helps you in getting a bit more of a feel of the product, of the quality of the product, and you're able to better, you know, filter out whether you want to include this on your store or not. I'm just going to click on add to my products. Once I do that, I can go into the my product section and see all of the products that I have added in this list. From here, I can click on review and publish and publish this product onto my store. So I'm going to name this as my Sienna dress and I will only add this as summer dress, wrap dress. These are the tags I want to include and I want to include this onto my homepage collection, women's clothing collection. And after that, we have the description. So the description is pretty long on this. I can just use AI to shorten this. And then we have the variants. Now, I don't want to sell this variant in green. So I'm going to remove that like so. I'm going to deselect those. I only want the black color. And after that, we have the sale price, which is around $30, which gives me a net profit of $20. Then we have the images I want to include. I'll remove the green ones. And then I can just click on publish to my store and then click on confirm. And just like that, I have now imported a dress from Zendrop, a product from Zendrop on to my Shopify store. And you can get started with drop shipping on your own Shopify store with these simple steps on Zendrop. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.